So, the UK general election, just how to trade it. We've looked back at the data from the last six general elections and the bottom line is the pound tends to suffer in the aftermath. In only one of the last six elections has sterling risen against the US dollar the day after polling. The average decline in those cases is nearly half a percent and over the following month sterling has fallen more than 3% on average. But it's not all doom and gloom. The equity market and the bond markets have fared better coming out of a general election. The day after the vote, the FTSE 100 has traded up more often than not, rallying by just under 1% on average, whilst the 10-year gilt returned more than half a percent. After one month, the FTSE 100 is up by 1.85% and the 10-year gilt up 1.27%. But is this election different? Well, there's certainly an elevated fear of the resulting government being ineffective, given how close the race is. On top of that, there are concerns that Labour is too anti-business and that the Conservatives might take us on a path out of Europe. Most importantly, perhaps, with the economy so fragile, many would argue that inflation, interest rates and GDP will have the biggest long-term bearing on markets. But if the Scottish Nationalist Independence vote last year is anything to go by, we can expect volatility to pick up and short-term arbitrage opportunities to arise. With no clear results in sight, this election is there for the taking for those ready to capitalise on it. Wilfred Frost, CNBC, Westminster.